Hey Hobby Kids, this is Hobby Dad, and we have Imaginex, Night and Wolf, and the Castle Dragon with Action Tech. Hobby Kids TV. From Fisher Price, ages 3 through 8. Let's open it up and have some fun! First, let's take a look at the knight and his wolf. Hey, look, we could try him right now. Arr, 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 arr. Let's look at the back, and you can see all the awesome toys that come in this collection. Oh, that could have gone better. Eh, it's like they wrapped this toy just for Hobby Dad. Yeah. They just call this guy the Knight, but I'm gonna call him Wolf Knight for some obvious reasons. If you take a look at his beard, it's kind of shaggy, kind of like a wolf. Let's compare him to the other minifig that we got. See, he is not shaggy. He's very well groomed. Get a haircut! That's okay, because he's the Wolf Knight, so it's okay if he's kind of shaggy. Also notice that it is the exact same knight, except for the colors that they chose for this one. This one has black armor with a dark blue highlight and a crescent moon. Which is cool because wolves like to howl at moons. Let's take a look at the armor that goes on this knight. I don't know, I'm kind of have mixed feelings about this armor. <laughs> like some type of animal robot. You know, the kind that you see at certain pizzerias. He has a snout. His eyes, you can see through his eyes right there. He has these kind of funny looking ears. You do see the crescent moon on the chest, that's cool. But he just looks like kind of like an iron teddy bear. It's kind of scary. The one thing that I love about this armor and I'd like to see more is it has two special slots to hold his weapons. How cool is that? I mean, you have this axe with like a mince meat end on it and it fits right here. Well, it's supposed to fit right here. Let's try it this way. That is super cool. And you have this axe, which is a crescent moon. Super awesome. Fits right here. I mean, I guess you could even put his shield in there too. Let's try that out. Let's mix it up. Yeah! I love his shield as well, because there is a wolf howling at the moon. Really neat. So, all in all, I do really like this knight. The only thing I don't like about it necessarily is... It's cute and scary. It's kind of hard for me to decide how I feel about this. But when you see him standing here next to the wolf, it goes together really nice. I like the wolf because he has a really cool action where his head extends out and his head moves up to form this howl. How they painted the back of the wolf to give him a two-tone coat. Let's see how he fares against the castle dragon. Gulp. I've been waiting a while to get my hands on one of these, and they are super cool. They even have this cool thing on the box where it looks like he bit the box and the giant chunk is ripped out of it. Oh! And on the back of the box you get to see all the cool features and also that he works with a radio control against this castle. Which we have and we're going to try out today. And apparently he likes to bite dads on the shoulder and because I'm hobby dad, I'm a bit concerned. <laughs> Customer service. Uh, if you are a father and you are bitten in the shoulder, do not be concerned. And look at this. It's Imaginex. No assembly required. Comes with batteries. Yeah! When you pick this thing up by the back handle, his front legs move down with gravity, making his wings look like he's flying as he takes off. Yeah, that's so cool. His wings are made out of a plastic frame with material so that it can move up and down and look like an effective wing. The detail of this toy is awesome. 
everything is molded into the plastic, so his scales and everything are three-dimensional and look really good. The speaker is right here. That way, when you're playing with it, all the noises happen where your head is. So for example, you can hear everything's going on because the speaker is right in front of your face. And it looks like they're catering to the right-handed people because if you're right-handed, you're gonna hold it here, like this. But if you're left-handed, oh, the speaker's not facing me, I cannot hear the dragon sounds as well. Even the dragon's head has so many cool details. Now let's test out his chomping action. Oh no. It's okay, Knight. It looks like your wolf is trying to protect you. Aw, oh, poor doggy. You're next. <laughs> Wait, can we talk about this? Oh, look at that! All of your awesome swords that you have on your backpack is holding the dragon's mouth open. He can't eat you! Whew. I knew they'd come in handy. I knew they'd come in handy. Now let's try it with the Eagle Talon Castle. Time to turn on the defenses, Eagle Talon Castle! When the dragon attacks, it activates the castle remotely, and they make lights and sounds in response to the dragon. It's like they know a dragon's actually attacking them. If you look really closely, you can see the remote control lens that talks to the same remote control lens that's on the castle. Just so you can get an idea of how big this dragon is, let's compare him to another castle monster. How about the castle ogre? So I'd say they're about the same size and just as cool. All right, Wolf Knight, we'll let you off the hook. But I still want to see this dragon eat somebody. Guess we're gonna have to get a different knight. Did somebody call for a knight? Hey you, Wolf Knight, you still haven't got a haircut. Oh, come on, I'm a Wolf Knight. It's kind of my thing to be shaggy. If you want to be a proper knight, you must look proper. Yeah, your haircut didn't save you that time, did it? Well, at least I look good while I'm being eaten. Alright, subscribe for the world's best shows with learning fun. And don't forget, you can press the little info button in the top right corner to keep the hobby fun going. You don't want to miss another episode, so come on, press that button now.